My name is Darcy McNee. I'm a district teacher leader in Saanich schools, as well as the teacher librarian at North Saanich Middle School. And I believe in strong libraries and strong communities. What was my favorite book as a child? So my favorite book as a child was Anytime Tales by Enid Blyton. And I love this story. It's uh, filled with short stories. And my favorite story was called House in the Fog. And it's about um, a young boy who's on his way home from Boy Scouts and he gets lost in the fog on the way home. And um, he's a boy that does not believe at all in magic. And um, through his adventures, he ends up coming to this very mysterious house in the fog to find help. And when he gets there, all sorts of magical things start to happen. It's kind of reminiscent of like Beauty and the Beast. Uh, a jug pours milk for him and there's a dancing clock. And anyway, at the end of the story, he finds himself home safe and uh, he comes to the sort of understanding that there might be more in the world than there appears to be on the surface. And I love this story and it sticks with me still today because I have the world's worst sense of direction. I always get lost and um, I always magically find my way home, thank goodness, but um, it always makes me wonder as I'm stumbling around trying to find my way home um, if I will find the house in the fog. <laughs> so that's my favorite book from when I was a child. Some of the recent books that I've been reading are so I always have more than one book on the go. Uh, one book that I just finished is Indigenous Storywork by Joanne Archibald. Um, and I love this book because it's teaching me a lot about my role and responsibility in terms of truth and reconciliation for our Indigenous peoples. So I have a lot of learning to do and this is um, one step closer on my journey. Um, I also am often reading books for um, my role as a teacher librarian, and I've just finished a couple. One was this uh, book called Bloom by Kenneth Opal. And I love this book because it takes place on Salt Spring Island. So it feels very close to home. Um, and it's also about um, something very mysterious that's making the whole world sick. And that kind of feels close to home right now too. So that was um, a very good read. And I can't wait for the second one, which has just come out called Hatch. And then the other book that um, I just finished reading was Ichabog. Um, and it's a story about lies and a story about um, how the lies that you tell often say a lot about who you are and the person that you will become. Um, so that's what's currently on my reading list. What other resources do I use from the library? I love that our students here have access to um, all the tools and resources from the public library. And something that's always super exciting for them is to understand the eBooks and audiobooks that you have available. Um, I remember some kids eyes just lighting up and being like, it's like the Netflix for books. There's just so much potential and possibility and it's so exciting for them to realize that they can access that on their own at home and here at school too. Um, and then also I've been super thankful during the period of remote learning um, and some of our students in Saanich are still um, involved in our remote learning programs um, to have access to the library resources. For example, tumble books and things like that. So we've been so fortunate that we can help support our students and communities with the resources available through the library. How do I think our life story impacts the types of books that we are drawn to? As a, as a teacher and a teacher librarian, um, you get to witness sometimes those very special moments when children become readers. And it's, it's so special to be a part of that and to understand what goes into that, I think. Some of what goes into that is understanding that uh, children need to see themselves in the books that are in our collections um, and make connections with people like that themselves. In addition to that, they also need a window to the world outside so that they can see people quite different from themselves and so that they can learn and grow and become accepting of each other um, and understand the possibilities in our world and learn kindness. What does the library mean to me? 
libraries have always been a really special place for me. As a child, I remember my mom taking me to the library and signing out a lot of the classics and doing read alouds with me, which I know is what instilled in me a love for reading and what it's what I've done with my own daughter as well. Try and read aloud, even still today, she's 13 and having that moment between parent and child reading aloud, there's it's so special and so important. Um, libraries are also really important because they provide access to everyone, to ideas, to history, to knowledge. Um, and libraries help us bring communities together and they help us shape the future as well. So libraries have a really important place within our communities, within our schools, um, and within our futures. How has my relationship with the public library impacted the experiences of my students and staff? So I'm so thankful that we have a really close relationship with our public libraries and Saanich schools um, in the way that we have um, staff from the libraries come in and do book talks with our students or share library resources. And a lot of our schools are close Enough that they can walk to the public library and experience that and get their own book cards and take out books. I've also had the opportunity to partner with um, our public libraries and do book smacks in community open air libraries and um, present at regional conferences about the important connections between public libraries and the school system. And so all of those things um, have really helped me understand um, how important we are together um, and how the collaborations that we can do together in partnership really work in service of our staff and our students and our community. And um, by working together uh, in service of our communities, we can do really some amazing and powerful work together. <laughs>